Welcome to Advan Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service tech for Advan Black, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install our radiant trim LED windshield trim for the Batwing fairings. Now, this is going to be for the 14 and up models only. Now, this is going to be for the 14 and up Batwing fairings. Now, it's going to come with all of the necessary hardware for you to get it installed, and with just a few simple tools, we'll have this installed in just a few minutes. So, so I want to start by showing you the LED trim that goes across the bottom of your windshield here. This is the chrome version. Of course, you can get it in black as well. On the front side, we got a tough polycarbonate lens right here. It's going to resist any cracking or scratching or anything thing like that from rocks you know that may hit the front of your bike on the sides here you got plenty of wire to go down to your blinkers now these are a switchback style light so they're a white running light all the way across the front while you're driving then when you hit a turn signal of course it will switch to a sequential turn signal so it goes from the inside out letting the person know which way you're turning so like i said you can get this in chrome and you can get this in black as well so on the back side of this you got a thick piece of rubber that's going to help protect the metal from getting on the paint as well so this is completely plug and play and like i said you're going to get all of the hardware that's needed you're going to have a splitter for each side because you have to have one that goes up to the light now and also back to your existing blinker you'll get some zip ties included and of course three new windshield bolts two of them are short one of them are long just like your oem ones short ones on the outside long one in the middle so let's get the camera over here and we'll get this installed so the first thing we're going to do is take our ratchet and take these acorn nuts right here off the top and the bottom of our turn signal when you pull this off be careful there is a wire and a connector behind that so we're going to pull that wire out pull the connector out and disconnect that just like that so we're going to go ahead and take our splitter with one of the male ends and go ahead and connect it and we're going to do that to both sides of the bike now before we take our front fairing off we want to make sure that we protect the top of our front fender now to get our outer fairing off we're going to take a torx 27 and remove this screw and this screw on both sides of the bike. Long bolt at the top, short bolt at the bottom. And all windshield screws are a little bit different. If you have the OEM ones, they're gonna be one style. Ours has aftermarket on it already. So just get up here and check and see what size bolt you have. Once you get the right size bit, we're gonna take out the two outside bolts first, leaving the center one in. We're gonna loosen the long bolt in the middle. Then we can kind of hold the front fairing and we can pull our windshield out, making sure that we maintain forward pressure on the fairing with our hand. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bolt. Now we can tilt the fairing slightly forward like this. Then we can reach in and disconnect any other lights that we may have and our headlight. Now from here, we wanna push that adapter back through the hole on the side of the bike, reach in here and fish this wire through, leaving the female clip on the outside here, but we can access it from the inside here on our splitter. And we're gonna make sure that we do that on both sides of the bike. Push the splitter through. Now we have it on the inside of the fairing, but we have the outside sticking out for our turn signal. At this point, we can reinstall our turn signal. When you're putting this back on, make sure that you're not pinching any of the wires front and rear when you put your acorn nuts back on. Do that to both sides of the bike. Now from here we can set our fairing back into place. Plug in any lights that you unplugged previously. Also undo the wires on your trim. We want to make sure that this wire is coming out the side. You'll see a slot in the rubber and a slot in the metal to make sure that wire comes out of there without pinching anything making sure that those are in place. We'll set the trim up on there. We'll take our large windshield screw and just go ahead and kind of poke it through just about halfway. And we'll actually use that to hold everything while we set the fairing back into place. And plug in our windshield trim off of our splitter. Once those are plugged in, we're gonna route that wire down and inside Pull our bolt back out so it sets into place. and screw in that center windshield bolt. At this point, you wanna double check that you don't have any wires hanging out the bottom of your fairing and around the edges, up both sides. With that center bolt loose fit in there, we can slide our windshield back in. Now at this point, we wanna make sure that this wire comes straight out of the side of the light, up closest to the windshield and tuck it straight into the inner fairing. Gonna 
fit those and then we're going to put our four remaining fairing bolts in. Once you have everything tightened up and secure, we're going to go over and kick the bike on. We're going to check to make sure that we have running light. We want to make sure that we have right and left turn signals. Now, if you've never had LED lights on your bike, and at this point you have hyper flashing on your dashboard, let's say you, turn, you hit your turn signal, the inside turn signal on your dashboard is flashing really fast, but your turn signal on the outside is working correctly. That's called hyper flashing. And what's going on is the ECM on the bike thinks that you have a turn signal out. The LEDs take a significantly less draw than a standard bulb that comes in these bikes. In order to reset your ECM for LEDs, you're going to want to kick the bike on. We're going to go over here and hit our hazard lights, make sure our hazard lights come on, and we're going to turn the bike off. We're going to let those hazard lights run from anywhere from one minute to five minutes. And on some of the Milwaukee 8 models, you may have to actually start the bike during this process. Once the inside turn signals and the outside turn signals are blinking at the exact same time, it's reset. You'll kick the bike back on, turn the hazards off, turn the bike back off, and you're good to go. So that's it. Like I said, super easy install on the Batwing fairings. Follow along with the video and you'll have that thing installed in about five minutes, even if you've never installed one before. If you want to get your hands on one of these, the first three days that we have this dropped, it'll be available through our dealers only. After that, we'll have a link in the description down below. So depending on when you're watching this video, check the description down below for a link that'll take you straight over to Adman Black's website. If you have any questions or comments on this part or the install, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I'll try to help you the best that I can. I'm going to get out of here get myself back to work. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze.